Hello, this is Janice from Space to Relax and the video I'm about to show you is a replay of a live Qigong class which I taught this morning via Zoom. I'll be teaching these classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays every week for the duration of COVID-19 and until I can get back into my face-to-face -face acupuncture and Chinese medicine clinics. This video is suitable for those of you who are beginners and also anyone who might have a little bit more advanced Qigong training. I hope you enjoy it and if you'd like to join me for the live classes then please click the link which is next to this video. If you're watching this video on YouTube then so you don't miss future videos that I upload here just hit the red subscribe button. So just to start today's class as I said we're going to be working with um, an abdominal breathing exercise using your mind and your breath and combining the three elements of Qigong, the mind, the breath, and the movement of the lower belly. And then we'll move on to using an arm exercise from a method called the Swimming Dragon, which is a really good way in which you can be brought into the present. This exercise has many other benefits. It's really helpful for opening up and really really clearing the pathways of chi flow in the whole of the body but most especially in the back area it's a real benefit to anyone who might have neck problems upper or lower back problems it benefits the kidneys as well it's very good for arms and shoulders as you'll see when we go through it and also there um, have been reports that it can really help with people who are struggling with blood sugar levels in terms of uh, suffering with type 2 diabetes. It's very good for regulating sugar levels as well. I think that's really because it has this overall balancing effect on all the organ systems in the body um, in a very powerful way. You'll also maybe find that this is an exercise which generates quite a lot of heat. It's a yang exercise. It's more into the yang, the yang functions of the body are warming, moving and activating. So it's quite dynamic. And when, when it's working well for you, you find that you start to heat up. It looks so smooth and so easy and so lovely, like there's no effort. But you'll find that you generate often quite a lot of internal heat. You feel quite hot. So it's also very good for people who suffer, with, uh, you know, suffer from the cold, um, especially cold hands and feet. So it has many different uses and you're just going to be learning one part of it, the arm exercises, but there's much more detail about this in the Space to Relax online paid program that I offer. So just to begin with, check that you're comfortable. You can be sitting or you can be standing, whichever is easier for you. And then close your eyes. Close your mouth. And the tongue is resting against the roof of the mouth with the tip of the tongue resting against the back of the upper teeth. Bring a smile to the corners of your mouth just to release any tension in your face. It's very difficult to frown and smile at the same time. And also just checking that your shoulders are nice and relaxed, that they're far away from your ears. So you may want to just lift them, breathing in, and drop them, breathing out. And lift, and drop, just releasing any tension in the shoulders, breathing in, and breathing out. Okay. And checking that there's length in the back of the neck by tucking the chin back in towards the throat, just drawing the chin in and feeling that lovely extension of the back of the neck. So settling into your practice now by relaxing your body and by relaxing your mind. Letting go of any tension And you may want to just let the mouth drop open, the lower jaw, just drop open and just wiggle that lower jaw from side to side just to check that you're not holding any tension in the jaw area. That's quite a common area where we 
we clench the teeth, we clench the jaw, especially for anyone who finds they suffer with the teeth grinding in the middle of the night. That's a lot of jaw tension. So just wiggling the jaw from side to side. And then closing the mouth again. Breathing in and out through the nose. And now just beginning to breathe in a little more deeply into Dantian, into that lower abdomen area, feeling the belly expand in all directions. Breathing out the belly shrinks, back towards the spine. So as you breathe in and out at your own pace now, just be thinking of as you breathe in, breathing in and expanding a balloon, like blowing up a balloon. So it expands forwards, backwards, sideways, up and down. And then as you breathe out, it shrinks in that three-dimensional way in all directions too. So this imaginary balloon inside your lower belly in Dantian is inflating as you inhale and deflating as you exhale. And as you exhale, just be thinking of letting go of any tension in the body and letting go of any distracting thoughts in the mind. Just breathing them out with each exhalation. And as you breathe in, be thinking of breathing in clean, fresh, energizing air. So when we breathe out anything that we don't want in terms of tension or pain or stiffness or feelings, what we're doing is we're creating space to bring in what we do want, which is refreshing, revitalizing chi or energy. And when we bring that into Dantian, it's just naturally distributed around the rest of the body to nourish and energize the organ systems so that we can all communicate in an open and free-flowing way, thereby bringing the body back into its natural balance. Bring the eyes closed, remembering to smile, and feeling smooth, soft, and silent flow of breath. You really experience this idea of flow, of continuous flow. So not stop and start with the breath. So it's not like you're inhaling and then stopping you're holding the breath before you exhale and then stopping again. You're thinking of breathing in, feeling that flow, and then as the breath gets to Dantian, it's almost like it's doing a U-turn in order to breathe out. So it's continuously moving. And then as you exhale, the exhalation leaves the nostrils, but almost immediately, your mind is picking up the inhale to draw the breath back in. So really have that idea of a circular flow of breath as you inhale and exhale in this lovely, smooth way. And as you breathe in, think of catching the first little bit of breath in your mind's eye and following it all the way down into Dantian. And then 
as I said, allowing the breath to turn around and follow it all the way back up and out, letting go at the nostrils in your mind's eye. So it's almost as though your, your mind is a passenger in a car. The car is the breath. And as the car enters the nostrils, you jump in. At any of the seats, it doesn't matter which seat. And enjoy the journey all the way down to Dancien. And then as the breath comes back up and out with the exhalation, at the nostrils, the car door opens and you jump out, you jump out and leave the car off on its way away from the nostrils. So the mind is following the breath. And you're also feeling that lovely rise and fall of the lower belly. So this is the foundation of your Qigong practice, combining the mind the breath and the movement. So just continue with the breathing for a few more breaths, enjoying the flow and experiencing that combination of mind and movement and breathing. Remember to smile. Keeping the length in the back of the neck. If you're sitting, it's very easy to lose your posture. Remember to sit up straight, keeping that lovely length in the back of the neck. Now, just gently opening your eyes so that you can see me staying in this lovely, calm Qigong state. And now, if you're standing, you would want to have your hands just resting down by your sides. And if you're sitting, just have the hands just face down on the thighs. And we're going to continue now with the arm movements from the swimming dragon method. So if you're standing now, I'd like you to turn your hands to face up, your palms to face up towards the ceiling or the sky. And if you're sitting, just turn them out and draw them out to your sides. Again, so that they're facing up towards the sky. Check that the shoulders are nice and relaxed. You don't want the shoulders up here around your ears. You want them nice and relaxed. And I just want you to follow along with me. So raise both palms up towards the sky, bring them right up over your head, but only if your neck and shoulders allow. If you can't go that far, just go to wherever you can without being in pain. And bring the palms of the hands together above your head, looking up at them. And then draw the palms of the hands down, Fingers touching and level with the heart center, checking now that your shoulders are relaxed. So the palms are not necessarily pressed together really tightly. You may find there's a little gap in between them, but your fingers are, your fingertips are pressed together, not so tightly that there's real tension in any of the muscles of the arms, but you're thinking now for the whole of this exercise that your fingertips are super glued together. If the palms are a little bit looser and more relaxed, that's fine. Um, you're not pressing the palms together. So just for a moment, close your eyes. And we begin this exercise by thinking of a lovely springtime scene. So in your mind eye, see a springtime scene. It's a scene of your choosing. And the reason we do this is we're setting the tone for this exercise. We want 
your senses and your the idea and your in your mind and in your emotions that something been really clean and fresh. Spring is a kind of clean, fresh time of year. So in your mind eye now, have a look around and see what you can see in your springtime scene. Look at the colours, look at the objects surrounding you. Notice the brightness or the shade in your scene. And also ask yourself what you can hear. And you hear water, wind, bird song, fuzzy bees moving from one flower to the next. Can you touch anything? Are you sitting on anything? Are you standing on anything? Can you feel grass beneath your feet or sand, depending on where you are? Can you smell anything? Any scent of any flowers? Or the smell of the ocean? Or the moisture in a forest or next to a river? Can you taste anything? Can you taste the salty air if you're in the, near the beach? Can you taste any moisture in the air? Again, if you're in a forest or near a river. So bringing all your senses into this springtime scene. And looking around and smiling at what you see. And now gently open your eyes and I want you to follow me. So when you follow me, I'm going to go to one side first. So conventionally for this exercise, you go to your left side first. So you'll see I'm going to mirror this for you. So when I go to my right side, that will be your left as you're looking. So just follow me and what we're going to do is we're going to move the hands. Remember, they're stuck together with super glue. Keep them together and you're going to go to your left side first. Hopefully the mirroring thing works on Zoom. <laughs> and then you're going to move the arms in a big arc around you. And start them at shoulder level. So the hands are parallel to the ground. And then from here, move them across the front of the body. Flip them over. Drop the hands to heart level, move them across the front of the body, flip them over, drop the hands to the level of the lower abdomen and dantian, flip them over, move them across. Don't flip your hands here, come back to where you started, front of dantian, across to the side, and then Lift the fingers up to point towards the ceiling and come diagonally across the whole of the body, up to the opposite shoulder, and now we're back to where we started to make this lovely arc. It's like you're drawing a rainbow. Coming all the way over to the other side. Hands are parallel. Coming over at shoulder level, across the front of the body, twisting the body to one side. Flip the hands, drop them to heart level, and coming across the front of the body, feeling the stretch in the sides of the body. Flip the hands over, drop them to dantian or lower abdomen level, come across the front of the body. You don't flip the hands here, but go back to where you came from. And now just tipping the hands up, fingertips up to the ceiling or the sky, coming across diagonally in front of the body and back towards our circle. Make the circle nice and big. Hands coming across at shoulder level. So making the amplitude of this movement out to the side as great as it can be. Flip the hands and drop. Coming across. Heart level, flip the hands, drop to Dantian level. Coming across. Don't flip the hands here. Going across and then up and across diagonally. So lovely, nice big stretch out to the side and then up to the ceiling. And then out to the side as far as you can. Please don't be in pain with this. 
and following along. And across, drop at heart level. Lift the hands, drop to Dantian level. And go back to where you came from. So now for this next round, we're going to make this as smooth and flowing as possible. So no stopping. Think again of that continuous flow as you think of your abdominal breath. So no stopping now. So like you're drawing the letter S. Lovely and smooth. And with this exercise, when you practice it on your own, you can go as fast or as slow as you want. And to finish now, coming up to the top, looking up at the hands and dropping the hands down through the center of the body, stopping at heart level, close your eyes, and you smile to the corners of your mouth. And breathing. Observe any sensations you feel in the body and also in the mind. Ask yourself Was I in the present as I practiced the swimming dragon arms? Did I notice? Anything interesting happening in my body or mind? Was my mind distracted? Was I thinking about the shopping or what to do at work or what to cook for dinner or what to do with the children? Or was I really focusing so much on the movement that I was completely immersed in it? And I think you'll find, most of you, that you were so busy thinking about the movement that you were totally in the present. Allow the hands now to drop down to the lower abdomen, placing one hand on the lower belly and the other hand on top of that. Bring the mind to Dantian and to the rise and fall of the lower belly as you breathe in and out. Keep smiling. Keep the shoulders far away from the ears. And now, still with the eyes closed, bring the hands together and rub them until they get really hot. If you're wearing glasses, take them off now. And then place one palm over each eye, feeling the heat from the palms of your hands with the fingers facing up towards the ceiling. Feel that heat nourishing the eyes and going through the back of the eyes to nourish the mind. And then to bring yourself back into the room, just gently give yourself a little face massage, a little face wash by moving the hands up and down. And as you do that, slowly opening the eyes and coming back into the room. So that concludes the practice for today. I hope you really enjoyed that. And I wanted to show you that simple method in order to demonstrate that when we're so busy focusing on one thing, that we can really be in the present. I think many of us are distracted. We often go about our day-to-day -day activities, not even focusing on them. We're thinking about something else. Our mind is elsewhere. It's distracted by past thoughts of regret or, or guilt or remorse or frustration or maybe even future thoughts of worry and anxiety. And we're actually somewhere else. We're not in the present. So by practicing Qigong in this way, 
it really does help to bring you into the present. And there are other activities you can do which will bring you into the present, which are all really beneficial too. So they would be things like, uh, for me, I go surfing. So when I'm surfing, I have to be in the present. I have to be watching the waves. I have to be watching the water just to make sure I don't get bowled over and mashed by a wave. But there are other things that you can practice, like, say, if you're playing tennis, you're really focused on that, any kind of racket sport, that's really good. Um, if you're painting, if you're playing music, you can become very immersed in that as well. So I would encourage you all to find something which really allows you to completely immerse yourself in it so that you bring yourself into the present. And that will then enable you, the more you practice that, to, on a day-to-day -day basis, even as you go about your daily activities, to be more kind of aware and be more present and in the moment. And all of that then leads to a happier life because you're not then kind of projecting emotions about the future or feeling emotions from the past. You're actually staying in the moment. And all we have is the present moment, really. Nobody knows what's going to happen in the future. So um, as always with this class, uh, with these lessons, if you have any questions, you can pop them into the Facebook group, which is Space to Relax Free Qigong Group, or you can send me an email, janice at space to relax.com. And also, if you enjoyed this lesson, then please, um, it is a free class, but I would invite you, if you enjoyed it, to donate to this class. You can, there's a link next to this video where you can donate, and I give half of the proceeds to the nurses in my local hospital here in the ICU ward uh, as a thank you for all their lovely work that they've been doing during the COVID-19 pandemic. I think it's a very worthy cause. The other half of the, your donation will go towards the upkeep of this website. So if you have a little bit to spare, you can give as much or as little as you want. I'd be really grateful for that. But if you can't, that's absolutely fine. And I said, these classes are free of charge. So um, I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. If you're watching this as a replay, I won't be here next week. I'm actually on holiday, but I'll be back the Thursday after that. And for those of you who were used to coming to my Tuesday classes, I'm afraid I can't be doing them anymore because I'm returning to my Chinese medicine and acupuncture clinic. So it will be a regular Thursday class the week after next. Um, and I'll continue with those at 4 p.m. Irish time every Thursday. So thank you so much for coming along and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to learn some more Qigong from me, then you can do three things. The first thing is you can sign up for my free three-part Qigong video series, which will be delivered to your email over the course of around a week. And you'll find the link to sign up for that on my homepage, on my website, which is spacetorelax.com. The second thing you can do is sign up and join me for the Zoom live classes, which are on Tuesday mornings and Thursday afternoons, and they'll be for the duration of COVID-19. So I'll put the link next to this video somewhere either below or above so you can sign up and join me there. And the third thing you can do if you're watching this video on YouTube is hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos from me. If you did enjoy this video, then please share it with your family and friends. Hopefully they'll join in and uh, have some fun with practicing Qigong too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.